She's there, lurking behind her computer, just waiting for you to mess up. She's always there, ready to call out every tiny thing you do, all in the name of Jesus. Think you mentioning anything outside the Bible in casual online conversation is gonna get by her? Think again. Picking and choosing battles is hard, especially when everything is a battle and pitchforks are in short supply. As she sits down at her keyboard, she cracks her knuckles and she says to herself, it's time to slay heretics into bubble gum and I'm all out of gum. The most upright Christian on the internet getting specks out of eyes since 2001. Because being a bully to you is the loving Christ-like thing to do. She is Judy McJudgerson, the mighty keyboard warrior. All right, let's see what we got today. Wow, wow. This girl's been a Christian for an entire week. How does she not already have the New Testament memorized? I'm disappointed. It is my duty to inform her immediately that everything she's doing and believing is wrong. Is what I'm about to say grounded in a love for people and God? Nah, there's no way I'm becoming fluffy. Jesus turned tables and I hand out virtual face punches. And what is she thinking listening to that band? I just need to tell her it's demonic. I mean, what is a really good way to tell these people that what they believe is wrong? I know. I'll be very explicit and direct and tell them everything they believe is evil. Everything is new age. Everything is demonic. I must place this impossible yoke of perfection on everyone. They must know they can never do anything right. And if they're an atheist, I must tell them that they're going straight to hell because I know that is just the best way to represent Christ. Do I love them? That doesn't matter. I'm a keyboard warrior. Being nice isn't loving. Don't they know that making relentless fun of this pathetic heretic is the best way to convince them to repent? I know that the most Christ-like thing I can do is to be emotionally reactive and act like the world and the culture when anyone steps out of line, even if it's just a little bit. So, you're canceled. Ah. What? Oh, okay, where are my pearls? I need my pearls for this one. <gasps> They're reading books from them? This poor random person online needs to know that because this teacher associated with this other false teacher that one time in that one place, like 20 years ago, makes them a false teacher. Don't they know that everyone's a false teacher? I must react to this. I can excuse the terrible, unloving behavior of the teachers I follow, because that's different. <gasps> what? I'm offended! How dare they respond to me with such disrespect? Well, Jesus did say I'd be persecuted for speaking truth. <gasps> what? Oh, 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 okay, you are getting the caps lock now, buddy. <gasps> They're not using a King James Bible? That's it. I'm done. I'm done with these people. They're just gonna send people straight to hell by using that other translation. Those aren't other versions, people. Wake up. They're perversions. King James Version is the only true version. It's okay, Judy. Hang in there. It's tough doing God's work. No. No, 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 there's no way we can have an open and honest dialogue about these teachings. I cannot allow this type of intelligent conversation. I have to shut them down. No ecumenism today. Or else I might become friends with someone I disagree with and become a false teacher because of it. After all, any sort of affiliation with them means that I agree with them on everything. We must not allow any thoughts, books, or conversations that don't 100% agree with what I believe. Conform, or you're a heretic. Oh, it's getting tough out there. Gotta put my cape on to remind myself of why I do this. I must stay strong and comply with my online tribe, or else everyone 
will come for me. Even if I show a little bit of likeness or perspective from the other tribes, ugh, then I'll look like I'm the weak believer. They might take my pitchfork and use it against me. It's okay. It'll be all right. Heaven forbid that I learn something from someone with a different view. <sighs> Stay strong, McJudgerson. Stay strong. <gasps> Whoa, wait, what? A respectful debate? Between Christians and a terrible, awful unbeliever? No way. We cannot be associated with spiritual leprosy. We should not be respectfully and lovingly debating these people, but yelling at them to repent of their sins. Turn or burn. And everyone needs to know about it. But didn't the Samaritans and the Jews hate each other, yet Jesus told the story of the Good Samaritan and said we should be like that? Uh-uh, nope. Get behind me, Satan. Uh-uh, nope, no, 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 not again. I will not be nice to this person publicly, because if I do, where will it go? Where will it end? We're chatting humanely, and the next thing I know, I'm humanizing them as a person with feelings and end up seeing their perspective. I might end up actually abandoning everything I believe and becoming like a universalist or something. Not today, Satan. Oh, he is sneaky. I must remain passive aggressive, defensive, and live in constant fear of those who disagree with me. Or else, I'll lose my faith. I mean, where would Nabil Qureshi have been if David Wood didn't immediately condemn him, refuse to be his friend, and tell him he's going to hell? Wait. Ugh. They're talking about themselves? No respectable Christian talks about themselves, especially in a positive light. It's so prideful. I would never do that. I'm way too humble to talk about myself like that. I'm extremely discerning too. That's how I know everyone's wrong. Oh, what a day. So hard being the Lord's servant, all that persecution and correcting. <sighs> but it's time to go to my women's Bible study now. Gotta kick down the doors of hell by bringing that anointed casserole. So there she goes. Not every hero wears a cape, and not every warrior can bear the burden of the pitchfork. No matter what you do, no matter where you go, she's watching. Thanks to the persistent efforts and bulliness, er, er, I mean boldness, of this keyboard warrior, the truth is able to live on for another day. Thank you, Judy McJudgerson. Where would the body of Christ be without you? <laughs>